It's 1600 CFM. For the size this is, this is pushing out a lot of air. It's time to load our tune. Right is complete. First engine start. If you guys saw the last video, then you saw the unboxing of our new ESS supercharger. First one in the world on a Mach 1 Mustang. Guys, this is a big deal, big video, because we're going to be installing the kit today. And then hopefully by the end of this, later on this evening, we will have the first engine startup. And then video following this one, obviously we're going to do some dyno tuning with Wingard Performance. Wingard Performance is the preferred tuner on the ESS website, so check them out. Links down below. Uh, we've already done the component layout in the last video if you're interested, look at the card above, but we're gonna rock and roll in this video. We're gonna get to installing our G3 straight cut gear ESS system. Let's go. We are here at HBR in Henderson, Tennessee, and they come highly recommended. They know what they're doing, and all they do is stuff like this. We've had cars from 15 states so far. 15 states? 15 for? states, and we counted yesterday. I didn't realize I had this many. So we've turned out 64 cars in a little over 10 and a half months. That's amazing, dude. And they're all builds like this supercharged so, turbos supercharged centrifugal positive placement turbos twin turbos pretty much everything everything big horsepower builds and you also do like repair work and yeah, stuff we do that and i mean we do small stuff suspension work headers i mean we put in uh built rpg engines for customers had one almost right at a thousand horsepower on the dyno on a mustang dyno yeah uh with a whipple on it so we've done quite a bit to the shop uh very thankful for our customers like i said from 15 states so far all right so we've got a g3 head unit here with these straight cut gears oh, yeah. what do you think about it so far man yeah it's pretty pretty lightweight compared to like a compared is, to a vortex or that pro or like a pro charger we've done before this is feels like significantly lighter i'd almost say half the weight that's crazy and this so this is a g3 kit with these straight cut gears so it's going to give us all the whooshy whiny noises that we want especially on this car which is fighter jet gray mach 1 so it's going to add a lot to the the characteristics of the car but and i like this right here that it comes already with a 10 yeah. rib kit partially installed and you can still run the six rib on it they that's pretty sick yeah honestly so this is stuff that you don't have to spend later i think it's a 1600 c FM? That's why I looked at yeah, it's 1600 CFM. For the size this is, this is pushing out a lot of air. I know the Vortec V3 JT is, I believe, 1450 CFM. So this is more for... That flows more than a V3 JT and or CFM was. <laughs> and it's... Yeah. I'm actually liking it. The biggest thing I'm going to like about this kit is... One thing, and when I install a Pro Charter, I'm not a huge fan of sticking the pulley on the outside of mm -hmm. the crank. You're putting more stress on the crank and it has led to crank uh, failures. So one thing about this I like is it's using the factory crank pulley, which is a plus for me. Uh, getting a belt on and off the Vortec is it's a nightmare. aggravating. It's yeah. a nightmare. So if you don't know about ESS, because they're kind of new to the S550 world, they've been around for a long time, but they've got kits all the way out there to like, I mean, even expensive stuff like Lamborghini. So, okay. so uh, the Corvette world, they've got stuff. They're big in the B&W game, but now they're treading into the waters of the S550 Mustang. But the big benefit here is cost. Let me check out their website. Let them know that you saw this video and that I, Xander 13, sent you. Well, like the other systems, they're all metal. I like that. Yeah, this is all of this. Whoop, I'm about to drop it. That's, with that's four ply silicone, so I mean, that's good stuff. This whole kit, I think you said weighs like 44 pounds or something yeah, like that? That's what ESS advertised, and that's one thing too don't have to spend extra money on T-bolts. It comes with them. Yep. We're going with a 120 millimeter, which should give us a about seven and a half PSI for 93 pump gas. We're gonna use a booster pump. You can also go with a DW 400 pump, but we're just gonna keep it simple for now and stick with 93 pump gas. And this should give us, hopefully, at the end of all this, around 700 horsepower for, like, honestly, a low boost. We installed, it's a new design from Boundary Pumps. Uh, Boundary Pumps has a new design for their oil pump gears. And that is something we did in preparation for this kit, because I know that it's gonna come up in the comments. Did you do OPGCS? And yes, we did. Yeah, okay. This is our bracket with the 10 red setup. So you do have to clearance back here just a little bit. Just follow the instructions. Next is our intercooler. Look at this beautiful thing. This is the big one. The kit has got so much attention to detail and, and very neat. Yeah, they, well, they did their homework for sure. Yeah, well, not only that, you got to think about it, they came from the Euro side of things, and that's one thing a lot of those guys are high class. They like their stuff right. <laughs> like a glove. Damn, that was easy. <laughs> what? 
That's it's awesome. grooved. I like that. Hold up. Yeah. No. It's what? It. That's pretty cool, isn't it? God, dog. I'm not gonna say the. Uh, I'm not gonna say who the other ones are. The X brand. Else, you guys sit there and hold it and fight it and tart it. I mean, this is. Hold on. For our 120 millimeter pulley, for starters, should give us around seven and a half pounds of boost. We're going to verify oil using dipstick chart. Do not overfill or underfill supercharger. Where is the dipstick chart? Boom. Sick. Sick. That's awesome. So you're still going to have most of your cooling. Yep, out. it's in there. Yeah, that's not And good. once that bottom piece is attached, it'll hold it. Yeah. So a little extra credit. So when you're doing a lot of these kits, anytime you do like a front mount intercooler on an S550, most of the time you will lose all of your uh, ducting here. You have to trash it, whatever. But in our case, it's a Mach 1, and we still want to road race this car eventually. So I wanted to see if we could somewhat modify the existing uh, plastics here to isolate all the air coming in, you know, like OEM, as much as we can help it. So we've shaved down a little bit of the top and cut this whole section off because you can't uh, utilize this. But anyway, so we cut it in half, and then we've got a push clip back here. So it's kind of hard to explain. I guess the moral of the story here is uh, think outside the box a little bit, and then we're going to also have that tray that comes underneath and uh, it'll it'll focus air uh, back into it'll focus air like OEM as much as we can help it like I was saying but what we did was we cut a circle we kept the rubber in the back and then cut around so that way when we put everything back together you know maybe this is an extra step and it's not needed but we're just gonna give it a shot you know just a little extra credit never hurts nope and as I'm saying once this actually rolled this up in there so that can force the air through yep and that'll also seal up on there. So yeah, you're actually just sealing up the system so air has to be forced through. Yeah. Really impressed with everything so far. The fit, finish, and quality of everything, like we've been saying, is second to none. We are running FIC 1000cc injectors. Shout out to Lethal Performance. We're gonna use their version of the booster pump. And these things are tried, true, proven, and uh, simple. Really easy install and cost effective. So shout out to Lethal Performance. If you guys want discount codes for their website, check out the video description down below. Hi. Housekeeping. Gonna put the bappy bap in there. Put the bap in the car. Get some fuel. Get a little more fuel, pray. Get a little more fuel. <laughs> hold your horses. Let me get you the booster pumpies. You can hard mount it or you can do the Velcro stuff. So let me give him this. This is you get a pigtail that's gonna go in between. It's gonna basically power itself and then you just ground it out. It's really simple. Here you go. Probably just gonna use this. I don't want to really be drilling into a Mach 1. All right guys, we're gonna do one more walk around the vehicle before we do our first engine start with our new tune and our ESS G3 kit with the straight cut gears. Everybody on the internet was out of these RTD devices. This is what you're gonna get. This is the RTD Plus, but Beefcake Racing hooked it up. So appreciate you, shout out. You know, search and see who's got stuff in stock, but it's time to load our tune. ESS FIC 1000 CC 93 pump gas open. Right is complete. Camera on camera. All right, let's get it. First start. <laughs> Pressure. All right, let's check it out. So we're gonna see a little smoke. Remember, we had this thing apart. No, I don't think the blow valve. I'm not sure. There it goes. Okay. It's bleeding off. Come down here, come down here. Yes, yeah, should bleed off while we're not in boost. Come down here and feel yeah. it. Yeah. Feel it. Yeah. Wire, this is open. I'm not sure how loud it's going to be. Yeah. I know the the other Pro Charger Vortex, they're pretty loud on some of theirs. Yeah. Sounds good. Did you give it a little throttle? Got the tempo the Huh? Got the tempo on the engine, throttle. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that's loud, dude. That sounds so good. Yeah. You hear it yeah. Yep. 
<laughs> oh, it's sick. So awesome, dude. Let's get a log real quick. Make sure that uh, Daryl Wingard has that log so we can move forward because tomorrow we're gonna be throwing this thing back on the dyno and see how much we picked up. We got the exhaust in the quiet mode. One more time. <laughs> uh, really, guys, I'm so happy, so excited. Go check out ESSTuning.com. I'm super excited to see what this is gonna do on the rollers coming up in the next video. Dino video coming right up after this one in a couple of days. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and turn your post notification bell, turn it on so you don't miss content, guys. Big things are coming. Obviously, this is just the start. Real quick, remember, this is built by HPR in Henderson, Tennessee. Check them out. Ken, that's all that they do here is build stuff like this. Chris, big shout out to you. You were really the main installer here, so I appreciate all of you guys, uh, all the hard work Chris, and everything Chris, you've done. Chris, I hired Chris uh, in January, and he'd been working with me off and on, uh, done his own college swaps, and I taught him a lot. Yeah. And so when it came time to hire somebody, I wanted somebody that I could trust as much as I trust myself to work on a car, and he's really stepped up and been a great help around here at HBR. Yeah, he's he's done 99% of the build, and phenomenal job, dude. Thank you so very much. So. So come check out HPR. I promise they'll get you going fast.